is in the points as you get here in Saudi. What do you think you've been able to do to manage that kind of rotation? But also, how impressive has the package been? And have you got a greater understanding of it, just you personally driving this Ferrari? Yeah, it's been um, it's been a strong run, very consistent. Feeling especially the last few races more at home with the car and both in quali and in the races and putting together some some strong ones. But uh, yeah, just looking forward to the end of the year and see how I can finish this last two with uh, maybe a bit more flashes and, and uh, see if we can get uh, some extra points that can boost us in the in both championships. That confidence in the car, does that help you when you come to a weekend like this where it's super important to basically get on it much quicker, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully, yes, it should help. But uh, yeah, I think it's a track to take it easy at the beginning and, and go a bit like Monaco, step by step and building confidence. Um, it's a bit the approach that I took since Russia and it seems to be working well after a few crashes I ha that I had in the middle of the season. So, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, looking forward to it. You in last time out in Qatar, do you guys know what that problem was and are you feeling about a bit more confident coming into this weekend? We do. We, we know what it was and, um, yeah, I mean, coming into this weekend, it's, it's new for everyone. I think always with a driver, you know, you get to a new circuit, not only a new uh, destination, but a new circuit. And it's like, it's exciting because you're trying to learn a track and also this is high speed, it's fast. It's definitely hairy in some spots, but that, that's exciting. It reminds me a little bit of Macau in some areas. So lots to look forward to. And it's really just trying to then understand, not only from driving, but set up how much downforce to run. That's, that's always the, the main.